Hello, I'm very proud to present to you today the new revolutionary interface of CI Engineer 21. The first thing that you will notice is the bigger working space, where the 3D graphical display takes up the majority of your screen. We have new components, but also existing improved components. In total, we have eight main components. The 3D graphical display, the input panel, the process toolbar, the main menu, the CS spotlight, the status bar, the property panel, and the view bar with the Navicube. Let us now dive in and see the first new component. The first thing that you will notice is the input panel. The input panel is, as the name, as the name says, is where you would go to input things in your model, like inputting a structural element like a beam or a slab, or also inputting loads. Notice here the new and improved icons. We have done a substantial effort to rethink all icons with the purpose to simplify them. And by using consequent color schemes and sub-elements, we have made it easier and more intuitive to understand what each icon does. The input panel is split into workstations. You can have all of them visible, like we do here, or you can select, for example, the loads workstation. And by this, you will only see relevant information for inputting loads. You can also change to the structure workstation, and by this, you will see all structural elements that you can input in your model. Needless to say that you can change the position of your input panel, you can dock it, and you can also choose to show category headers, which will show you the text. Let us now go to the next component, which is closely related to the input panel, and that is the main menu. It is located on the top left of your screen. In the main menu, you will find back all action-related items. This go from a set of tools, to results, to design, to view settings, and to the libraries or the help menu. Let us now go to see the CS Spotlight, which is located in the top middle of your screen. The CS Spotlight is where you would go to to launch a command or simply search for it. How it works is that you simply type the name of the command that you want. You can launch it from here, or you can choose the show me function and it will show you where it is located in the main menu. And that's not everything. You can also change the shortcut of your commands by simply pointing to the right of your command and shooting a shortcut. But that's not all what the Spotlight can do. It will also guide you through the different stages when launching a command. For example, to insert a beam, you can use the Spotlight to insert the coordinate or also to draw a polyline, a straight line, a circular arc, for example. Let us now go to the process toolbar. It's located at the bottom left side of your screen. This is where the customization of your CI engineer starts, but it's not where it ends. The toolbar is completely customizable for every user. So you can see here that you have multiple icons for different workstation, like results, steel, concrete, reports, structure, and all commands inside are for you to customize based on your needs. Now, how to customize your process toolbar? Let me show you. First, locate the command that you want, either in the main menu or in the CS Spotlight. You can search, for example, for your command and simply drag and drop it in the working station that you want. And what if we want to remove a command? Well, it's as easy as putting it in. You simply drag and drop. Another nice feature is to be able to have two open working stations at the same time. This will allow you to go from checking the result to the steel code check, for example. How to do it? It's easy. Select the first working station you want, and then while holding the control key, press the second working station. The calculate button is also located 
conveniently at the center of the process toolbar, allowing you to quickly locate it and start the calculation of your project. Let's go now to the next component, which is the status bar. It's located at the top right corner of your screen. The first thing in the status bar is the active load cases. Here you can see a list of all your load cases, and also you can go through them one by one, and you can modify them if needed. Next, you have your snapping option, your coordinate system, your length unit. You can also change the national annex and your code, and use the status bar to change the scale. We also have two new features in the status bar, which are the auto refresh and the grid mode. The auto refresh will automatically redraw results on the structure when you change a result property, like for example, changing from normal, normal forces N to the bending moment MY. This will save you a lot of clicks and hence a lot of time. Of course, by default, this feature is switched off, so you have to activate it manually. The grid mode will switch on and off the editing mode of the line grids. With this editing mode on, we can only edit the existing grid lines. And with the editing mode off, we can only use the grid as snap points to define our structure. Next component is the property panel. The property panel is known to most of us from the previous versions of CI Engineer. But we have managed to find a way to make it even more powerful and most importantly, easier to use. The first improvement is the filter option, which is now called Expand Selection. What this will allow you to do is to select multiple elements based on multiple criteria that you define. It is very easy to use. Just select an element, go to the criteria that you want to use for your selection. For example, here, I will choose the cross section. Right click on it and click on Expand Selection. This will automatically select all elements with the same cross-section. Another nice feature is the ability to see immediately what are the objects in my selection. Let us say that you have multiple elements selected. Now you can quickly distinguish what are the elements in your selection. If you want to deselect an element, just simply drag and drop. Another nice feature is the ability to see what are the related elements to a single member. For example, if you select a beam, you can immediately see the related elements to that beam. And you can see the loads that are here and the nodes that are related to that beam. The graphical display is very important, and so is the ability to quickly change the view of our model. And that brings us to the view bar and NaviCube located at the bottom right corner of your screen. Here, you can quickly access the view parameters to modify rendering settings, toggle or hide the supports, and of course, see more advanced settings. You also have the NaviCube, which will allow you to quickly rotate your structure and change the viewpoints. If you want to learn the new user interface of CI Engineer, or if you are a new user of CI Engineer, we made it super easy for you to learn CI Engineer. We have built in directly in CI Engineer an onboarding program that will teach you the software in six minutes only. All you have to do is go to the Help menu and start your onboarding tutorial. We have currently two onboarding tutorials, one for concrete and one for steel, but we will later on expand these tutorials to have a bigger list. I will go to the onboarding steel tutorial, and this will open a new project. Now that this new project is open, all you have to do is simply follow the steps of the tutorial, and it will guide you through the interface and explain to you what each command does. That was a quick overview of the new interface of CI Engineer 21. 
I really hope you will enjoy it just as much that we have enjoyed making it for you. Be prepared to have your efficiency increased. Enjoy CNG 21, super powered, super easy. Thank you.